Yo guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bungee cord server. Yes, that's a mouthful. But I've already shown you how to make a spigot. I think it was like 1.8.2 server. But now I'm going to be showing you how to link multiple servers together through bungee cord. So these are the links. I'll show you how to download them really quick. Right here, you just click that and hit keep and put it where you want on this one these are just normal minecraft builds you do not download these you go to the downloads tab hit spigot and craft bucket hit spigot and hit download jar it's the same process as the other now once you have your files <sighs> excuse me you're gonna make a new folder call it whatever you want I'm just gonna do bungee and once you're in here you're gonna make a new folder called one or actually you can call them whatever you want I'm just gonna be I clicked the wrong thing I'm just gonna be lazy and name them one two three and then you're gonna make another folder call it whatever you want whatever your networks name is call it I'm just gonna call it that's what I'll call it now in one oops I did not mean to double click that now I have to go into this do not double click either one of these it makes it to where you have to like do a bunch of crap to get them off uh, okay there thank God for a second monitor okay so you're just going to take this drag it and drop it in there Okay, now you're going to make another text document. Call it whatever you want, but then this is very important. Call it dot bat, period bat, dot bat. Like this, start dot bat. This can part right here, start, can be whatever you want. If this doesn't pop up, then you failed. Hit yes. Well, I guess that doesn't have to pop up. If it looks like this, you've succeeded. Succeeded hit right click it and hit edit and this code right here will be in the description now um, before I do this this right here and this right here are RAM values so I'm gonna show you this um, I have 24 gigabytes so I can run that just fine if you guys only have two then you can't even run this if you have eight then I recommend doing like four and one but you can do whatever you want but it's not gonna run properly so just use this at your own risk I'm gonna keep it how it is file save it start dot bat It's gonna make some files, then it's gonna stop because it wants you to change the ULA. Save it. Run it again. You can type stop and you can stop it when it's done making files. when it's done creating the spawn area then you can stop it okay it says done stop now go into server properties and just leave this for a minute now come in here and type in CMD I already had mine pinned but click it do IP config IP CON FIG click that you might have to scroll down for yours Go to your IPv4 address. Everyone is different. Everyone's IPv4 is different, so don't freak out if it's different. And right there it is. So come to where it says server IP and do whatever yours was. Okay, now while you're in here. Uh, you're gonna want to change this 
most likely. You don't have to change this part. You just most likely want to change it. I'm going to call it. Then while you're in here, you can. Oh, this this is pretty important. On spigot and craft bucket, if you glitch on a block, it will kick you. So if you enable flying, it won't kick you. So you can just break the block and walk away. So enable that if you don't want to get kicked for glitching. Change this to four or six, whatever. Just it can't be five. You cannot change the two five five six part. It can't be. Basically, it can be like four three two or six seven eight nine something. Uh, but I'm just gonna change it to four. Uh. You can change this to amplified, whatever you want. I'm not going to. You can change that to three, whatever you want. I'm going to do 2,000 players. This is important if you don't want to lag your computer. Change it to four or five, depending. If you're running this on a laptop, I recommend you going all the way down to two. I'm going to do five. Uh tutorial okay now that you have this made you can just copy this you can just copy all of it and paste it into each one of these and then since those are all made you can come you have to come back into 2 and go into server properties and go to the port where's the port oh. and go down another one to three or seven whatever you did same here go to server properties and port and two now on network bungee just drag and drop that make a new text document call it whatever you want right here then dot bat we already went over this. Edit. I'll have the code for this in the description too, but I don't have it on me, so I just have to do this. And run it. Okay, now I'll just close that and in the config of Bungie Cord, you're going to want to first change this, like really seriously, minus one. You can't even join. Change that to something like that. I can't remember if you change this part, I don't think you do, but. Go ahead and change this part, the MD5, to your username to make you admin. So, under groups where it said MD5, just to re delete that and put in your username. And it has to be case sensitive. So, it's capital S, whatever, all the way through the name. And now, you're going to want to go back up to this right here and change this right here to 4 call this right here to like server 1 and then you want to copy it all the way from restricted to lobby and you'll see why in a minute go down go back control V change this to server 2 and rename this right here to server 2. Same thing again. Server. Three. I just did double R's for some reason. And three. Oh, I forgot to change the port up here. You need to change this to three or whatever your port was that you changed your second server to. Change this to two. 
now you can go down here and on forced host you're gonna want to change this to like something like basically just change it to your uh, to your IPv4 and then name it whatever your primary server is which mine is lobby and then up here at host make sure all these are zeros and then change these two from 77 to 65 and then max play gears you want to be the same as the other one so 5000 and uh, you want to make sure that's on there I cannot remember if you change this. Well, we'll see in a minute. I am pretty sure I need to change these to zero zero, but we'll see in a second. You're gonna want to change this to true. It really doesn't do anything, but it can help with errors. Save it. Let's see if this thing runs. Yep, it runs. It runs perfectly. You can install proxy plugins in there. I assume you know what those are. And now that this is listening, see how it says listening on 0000, which is your local host, that's your, what your machine is. It's listening on that port. So now you can run this and run this. Oops. And run this. So I'm running all three servers now. Oops. And Bungie is connecting them. Let's move that up there. Let's open Minecraft so you can see. And for some reason that my servers are not listed right now but we'll go ahead and just add in if you're playing on the same machine you're hosting your server on if you're playing on the same machine that you're hosting your server on then you enter in your IPv4 which is what I'm doing if you're not playing on the same machine then I'll show you in a minute You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. That's a perfect example of something going wrong. Config. And I would say it's probably because of these. Let's do 0 .0 .0 .0. And let's copy these. I thought those were going to be a problem. I'm not positive this is what it is. I just think this is what it is. Yeah, it is four zeros. And then this might also be the problem. This, I think, needs to be lowercase. And launch. Um, I left out a crucial part. I forgot to tell you guys something. On your server properties, I didn't see it, so I totally forgot. Uh, whatever. Did it want it reloaded for some reason? Oh, whatever. Uh, in your server properties, I for totally forgot because I didn't see it. I still don't see it. We're just gonna search it. Find. There it is. 
you must have online mode false it's crucial to have online mode false this hasn't been the perfect flawless uh, guide but at least I've shown you guys how to troubleshoot a little bit yeah I don't see the online oh there it is <laughs> I don't see the online there we go let's just go ahead and boot that and that and now we'll work on number three online mode should be right in here yep there it is I don't know why this has to turn off something to do with authentication servers or something but it has to be off and now launch Bungie uh, where was that last one oh I don't think I launched the third server derp derp refresh and this is not game recording software at least not really so this might be a little bit laggy for you guys but you see it's working but this is just a normal server right nope wrong server uh... server 2 server 3 server lobby they're all the same exact world because I didn't take the time to make three individual servers but you see the point all three of them are connected now so you can have literally three worlds on the same network and I know a lot you'll say you can do that with multiverse but you can't have separate plugins and I'm totally losing my voice right now that's why it's like flipping out but let's go ahead and get out of this and do uh, stop stop and stop oh, whatever but that's how you make a bungee cord server and that's it hope this tutorial helped subscribe like follow my tweeter <laughs> tweeter twitter follow my twitter um, all that stuff bye